Hi everyone, I'm Stacy Bell and this is News 4 Now for Monday, July 22nd. Let's start with the forecast. Yes, the heat wave is finally over, but that doesn't mean things are going to be any less rough out there tonight. Let's tell you what we're dealing with. Pretty much everyone in our area at risk for severe storms through tomorrow morning. Storm Team 4 says destructive winds, torrential rain, flash flooding and lightning all likely. And there's even the outside possibility of a tornado here in the city. Now the last of the rain should move out by your lunch break tomorrow. But here's the good news. Tuesday's high will be only in the 70s. Now those much cooler temperatures really can't come fast enough for the thousands of New Yorkers who lost power during the height of the heat wave. Mayor de Blasio says 13,000 Con Edison customers across the city are still in the dark today. Thousands more were taken offline for hours last night in South Brooklyn. Con Ed said today that they had to do it. They had to protect the equipment and prevent a bigger blackout. But the mayor and Governor Cuomo calling for an investigation into the utilities handling of that situation. We have to look at this from scratch now. We have two major disruptions. And uh, again, they're, they're not doing their job and they're not providing real information and they clearly don't feel accountable. Now to some of the other headlines. Lawyers for the man accused of killing a reputed mobster on Staten Island say he was trying to make a citizen's arrest. Anthony Camello's legal team says the 24-year-old was obsessed with the QAnon conspiracy theory. He also believed that Francisco Frankie Boy Cali was a figure in the, quote, deep state. Camello's attorneys say that he thought he was under President Trump's protection and he didn't mean to shoot and kill the Gambino crime family boss. Now, police need your help finding this man. You can see him in the video trying to shoot a woman outside of a home. This is in South Ozone Park on Friday evening. Detectives say that he pulled the trigger several times, but his gun apparently jammed. Eventually, he just gave up and ran away. And finally tonight, if you're planning a trip to the Jersey Shore, consider this your warning. Do not feed the seagulls. Ocean City's mayor says the birds have gotten so aggressive this summer that they are a public safety hazard. He also wanted to remind beachgoers feeding seagulls or other wildlife is illegal in the city. That'll do it for News 4 Now, but keep watching for the latest on today's protest in Puerto Rico. I'm Stacey Bell. Have a great night.